So many women are affected by polycystic ovarian syndrome, and this is one of the number one causes of infertility and also menstrual irregularities. The other thing that happens with polycystic ovarian syndrome is insulin resistance, and that's because all of these things go, it's like a loop of hormones. Basically, the testosterone affects the insulin resistance as well as the other hormones, and they just keep looping back and forth. And I'm gonna show you kind of what happens in your body to try and you know, really make this clear for you, Thank okay? You. So what happens normally when a woman ovulates is you have the ovaries and you have a balance of hormones, and when she ovulates, the egg bursts and it's picked up by the fallopian tube, and it waits there to be fertilized. Now, if it's not fertilized, what happens is the lining of the the um, uterus sheds and the ovaries, the, the follicles just sort of res resorb. But with polycystic ovarian syndrome, what can happen is you get this irregular surge of hormones. Everything's out of balance. You have um, hormones in your pituitary that are out of balance. It sends signals to the ovary. They cause an ovulation. So what happens with polycystic ovarian syndrome is you don't ovulate. Those, those uh, follicles don't produce the ovary to be picked up and get fertilized. And basically you're left with these follicles that, and that's where you get the cystic look of the ovaries and that's why they see that on the ultrasound. All right, and that's why it got its name. Now, fertility. What yes. can you do for the fertility? Yes. One of the best things you can do is try and keep your weight in balance because that's gonna help with the insulin resistance. Okay. All right, and then sometimes just with exercise and diet, it can restore your ovulation. The main thing that happens with infertility and PCOS is that you don't ovulate. And the idea is to restore the ovulation. So you would have to come off the birth control pills and then see if everything is restored by exercise and losing weight. If not, guess what? What? We got medications. Okay? <laughs> okay. We've got things that we can treat you with to try and super ovulate you okay. and you can Awesome. Definitely have a baby, okay? Excellent. And you know what? As you get older, everything gets better. Who would have thought <laughs> that you would say that? As you get older, everything gets better. And that's because those hormones are going to kind of ebb away, and they're, they're what's causing this problem. Right. And so it's going to get better anyway. 